She lost some hair. What is up friends, toy collectors and newcomers? Welcome to my channel. It's been a while since we've unboxed any Fashionista dolls and today we're going to take advantage and unbox these five. Some of these I've been dying to unbox because I've had them since I first got some of the Barbie movie dolls. I just never got a chance to unbox them. Her I got recently because I saw her at a local grocery store and then I just, I went home and I didn't get her. <laughs> I regretted it and then I saw her on Amazon and I said, let's get, it. let's grab her. With that said, let's go ahead and check them out. I'm actually loving all of the outfits and I can't wait to get into detail about each one of them. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell to get a notification every time I upload a new video. First up, I'd like to start with Barbie. This is actually a Millie face and this is fashionista number 213 and she is inspired by the 1959 swimsuit doll. I love it because when I was at the store, I noticed that some of the doll's outfits were inspired by previous dolls. And this one is inspired by the 1959, like I said. This is Barbie 65, inspiring stories, shaping the future. This is super cool. I love that they, they were doing, or that they're doing the inspired looks by previous dolls. So let's take her out of the box. Before we do that, let, I'm gonna show you guys all of the other dolls that they have. So I don't have all of the ones in the collection. I know that some of the ones in here are have been changing because there's some in the other boxes that aren't in here that are in the other ones, but they're not in here. Like there's like a little, I guess like a thicker guy with like a man bun that I have and he's not in here, but he's like in another box. Uh, so I guess as they're changing them, they keep adding or they keep like rotating them. And I think that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, but it's just kind of, it's hard to keep track of them all. Oh, like this one, this one's inspired by the Peaches and Cream uh, doll. And then this one's inspired by another one. And then I don't remember which one. I think this one's inspired by one. And I really like this doll. I just decided not to get her yet. She is retailed at $10.97, $11.10.99, more or less around that. Uh, I know I saw her recently on Amazon for $9. Um, and if you get her now, that's more or less, more around the price that you'll be getting her. Ah, she's so cute. Okay, so, ah, she's so pretty. I don't know what people have against the Millie face sculpt, but I think it's super cute. I really, really like it. Her hair is obviously, inspired by the 1959 doll. I think I'm going to try to curl it up to have it like this, but the top is obviously inspired by the bathing suit. And then she's wearing a pink ruffled skirt that has, oh, it doesn't have Velcro in the back. It just kind of slips in and out. Oh, cool, it's it is elastic and so is the top, but the top does have some clear elastic straps going around across the shoulders. Uh, I left these little straps because that's where the hair was. I'm just gonna take them off later. She does come with some retro blue glasses and she is wearing some black strappy heels. She does have all five points of articulation, which are her head, her shoulders, and her legs. She cannot move her elbows, her wrists, her knees, or her ankles, but she is super cute. She has blue eyes and very light pink lipstick, and she is a little pixelated. I don't know if you can see that, but her eyebrows, let me zoom it in for you guys. Her eyebrows are a little pixelated for me. I mean, no, for the most part, a lot of the fashionista dolls are pixelated, but I'm pretty happy with her. I just want to fix her hair because she has this crease here due to the elastic, but if we do like a quick wash, a, a quick boy wash and we curl it, I think that'll be perfect for her. So moving on to our next one. This Ken is, 
he's been around for a while. <laughs> so he is being used a lot, actually. She's, he's been in quite a lot of like the fashionista dolls or fashionista cans. He's been in a lot of the um, new, uh, f I guess, packs or like uh, playset packs. So let's get him out of the box. But before we do, look, I'm going to show you the difference on this box. So this one does have different fashionista dolls. Like this one has that... Uh, the guy that I was telling you guys, telling you guys um, it has this one that the other one didn't have. It has, I think this one wasn't on the other one. And who else? Maybe this one. So it does, they do have like different um, dolls on the sides. But they are all from the same wave. So let's get him out and see what's up. One big plus about these new boxes is that it's been so easy to take them out of the boxes. Um, even though some of them have like the elastic or, or some of the dolls, uh, female dolls have like the elastic in the back or like that little thing in the back. Um, I don't find it as hard to take him out as before, which I love. So thank you so much for that, Mattel. So this Ken has yellowish blondish hair. He has blue eyes. His face isn't pixelated. He's actually pretty handsome. I'm loving his shirt, which honestly, that's the only reason I got him because I have this Ken several times. I don't, I don't need him, but I got the Ken for the outfit. So I'm going to be honest about that. I probably won't use him. I'm going to steal his outfit, steal his shorts and steal his, his shoes and put him on my mini. And he's probably going away for a while until we give him a makeover, probably paint his hair and give him a beard or sell him or donate him or something. But... Speaking of the shirt, he is wearing like a sage color shirt that has some palm trees and some cactus and like some little pink leaves. It has Velcro in the back and he's also wearing some white shorts with some blue stitch lining all around or like I guess for the pockets and in the bottom. Pockets are faux pockets because they are non-functional functional and they have it has velcro in the back i love the outfit like i said he that's the reason why i got this ken i'm sorry ken but uh the shoes are pretty cool too one thing that i hate so much about the shoes the ken shoes that they're always the same side are they the same side yeah they're always the same side like i don't know like just give us a left and right shoe, man. I mean, I don't think it should be that hard to make a left and right shoe. Um, they don't have the K on the side. I noticed that. And most of the Ken shoes have the K on the side. But it does say Ken in the bottom. And they are like a cream beige color. They aren't white for sure. They're like a cream color. Um, but I really like them. They have, have like a little texture on the side. Like a little snake texture. I want to see like a little snake texture on the side. Which I love, 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 love. And of course, he has the five points of articulation, which would be his neck, his arms, and his legs. Ah, when you sit him, his pants open. Ah, don't show. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, I guess that's what I don't like about the Ken shorts. For the most part, they always open because they give them such tight pants, man. Or have such tight shorts and pants and we need to do something about that. Either give them elastic shorts, elastic pants, or give them stretchier material. Because this, honestly, love the shirt, but this is very cheap. AliExpress, Amazon, Timu type of material and it's not working for me. And it's not working or it's not worth it. But the shirt, I love. And moving on, I absolutely love this doll. When This is the very first, to my knowledge, the very first Down Syndrome Barbie. And this is uh, for the National Down Syndrome Society. And she is super adorable. So she is a Barbie fashionista 208. Here, 208. And she is so cute. So let's take her out of the box and uh, check her out. Whoa, her hair is so soft. No joke. It's super, super, super soft. She has a petite body. Her hair is all different tones of blonde. So there's like a super, super light blonde. And then there's like a strawberry blonde on top. But it's 
super super soft i definitely think it needs some good brushing and i hate that it has the crease here because of of the elastic but everything else i mean i don't mind and i really really do love that it's super super soft so she has brown eyes she's wearing like a salmon color uh, lipstick and she's wearing a pink necklace with some arrows and her dress is white with different colored flowers so it has some yellow flowers it has some blue flowers and some pink butterflies she is wearing some white shoes that have some pink foot brace on on them um it is like a pink brace on both of them i think they did a really good job with this doll she does have all five points of articulation which are her head her shoulders and her legs her dress does not have velcro it is a more of elastic uh, dress and it has some pink lining all across the top and it has just some stitching in the bottom. I'm loving the little poofy sleeves and the outfit that they chose for her. Ah, let's fix her necklace. And the outfit that they chose for her is actually perfect. What do you guys think so far? And on to our next one. There's something about this doll that I really, really, really like. I had this one when I, this one and the Ken that I just showed you guys, I've had since I bought the first Barbie, the movie dolls um, from Walmart. So uh, I've had these for a while. Um, she is Fashionista number 209 and I'm loving her. I'm loving her face sculpt. I'm loving her dress. I really, really like everything about her. Let's take her out of the box and uh, see what she's all about. All right, so here she is. She lost some hair while she was coming out of the box. It was so hard to get her out of the box. I just don't know why there was hair flying off everywhere. So I guess there's that. And she's losing some more hair. I don't know. See where this is? If I pull it? Uh, I'm not going to pull it. I'm just going to maybe cut that part off. But uh, I guess we'll start with the hair. Her hair is like a dark brown that has some lighter brownish highlights. She is wearing a white little studded or like pearled bandana i want to say they're like little pearls but it is uh attached to her head if we remove it hopefully there's no bald spot there's another doll head that i got before that had um if you remove the little bandana it had like a bald spot which i didn't like um but her eyes or her eyebrows are beautiful man look at that face man she's going to become a regular as soon as she passed the smile app test she's going to become a regular i hope she does because i really like her um her eyes are like a greenish honey color i don't know if you can see that let me zoom in so you guys can see it but her eyes are beautiful greenish color and then she is wearing a pink shimmery is it shimmery it's not shimmery. It just looks shimmery to me. But um, she's wearing a pink lipstick. And her mouth is open. I like that her mouth is open because uh, uh, most of the other ones have their mouth closed. Her dress is a pink plaided dress with a white ruffle coming along the front and a pink bow. This, I mean a black bow. This reminds me of like a pink Wednesday type of style. Uh, that's the whole, the whole the only thing that kept coming to mind when I was looking at at this doll. I knew I had her, but every time I saw her at the store, I wanted to get her, even though I knew I had her. I don't know why. Um, so I know for a fact that she's going to be a part of my regular girls. So she is wearing the black some black shoes. This is the I guess Mattel's go to for Barbie shoes, like the strappy black shoes. Um, that have like a little buckle. Or do they have a little buckle in the front? Yes, they do. And the dress has Velcro in the back. She has her five points of articulation, which are her shoulders, her head, and she can sit. Her, I wish she had arti an articulated body or like a made-to-move body. But I don't know if like this is relevant or not, but her legs look like really muscle. Like She looks like an athlete. Like, no joke. Look at the muscles on her thighs. What the heck, man? Whoa. Or is she a thick girl? 
<laughs> She's not a thick girl. But, man, her the muscles on her thighs compared to Barbie. Like, can you see that? Like, can you see the muscles on this one compared to this this one? Like, the, the her, their, obviously, their bodies are different. I love... They should have more athlete legs um, on the girls. Look at her calves, too. <gasps> what the heck, man? She, this girl works out. She is a CrossFitter. That's what she does. She does CrossFit. She is an athlete. I know that's, <laughs> she's an athlete. She has the athlete, uh, athletic body. Look at her, her arms. She has muscle in her arms all around. Like she literally has, she can freaking, <laughs> no joke. Oh my God. She's a freaking athlete. I love this. All right. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next one. And our last fashionista doll is our Ken. This is fashionista doll number 220. And this Ken comes with a hearing aid. Does he have one on each side? He comes with two hearing aids. And let's get him out of the box and check him out. He's actually the last one I've gotten, or the one I've gotten the most recent. I was going to wait on him because there was another doll that I got instead of him. Or that I was going to get instead of him, but I got both. Oh, the yoga one. The yoga one, um, but I was scared that he wasn't going to be around longer. Um, so I grabbed him. I, I beat him. And I grabbed him and brought him home. So let me unbox him and show you guys. Probably the easiest one I had to remove from the box. The camera didn't even turn off on me. So this Ken has molded hair. It is... I wish it would have been rooted because... We would, we would have been able to style it better. Or not better, but been able to work with it uh, more. But it is uh, styled to the side. And he has some hearing aids that I do believe you can remove from his ears. <gasps> can you not remove them from the ears? Oh, you can't. Um, but I thought you could. But they are both blue. I have them right there. Or... There we go. Blue um, hearing aids. He has some honey colored eyes and some really amazing face features. Honestly, this Ken is it. Like he looks freaking cool. I like his jawline and all he needs is like a little beard, I think. But um, everything about him I love. I don't love that he doesn't have articulation. That's the only thing I don't love, but I think we're going to rebody him also, I just need to find the perfect uh, body for him. He is wearing a very retro looking shirt. You know what this shirt reminds me of? Do you guys remember like the McDonald's in, back in the 90s, back in the 80s? Like, it, they kind of had like this McDonald's or Burger King, I think it was. Like it had like these colored like orange and yellow and whites. Like this is what kind of like what it kind of reminds me of. Uh, I... This is it. Like, that's that's the very 70s. I feel like that's the very 70s look. Um, he's wearing some... Or the shirt has, like, some Velcro in the back. And it has a good stitching right across the um, the neckline. And it has just uh, regular stitching in the bottom. It has Velcro in the back. Um, and he's wearing some blue uh, shorts that are, like, a denim type with Velcro in the back. What I love, absolutely love, are his sandals. They are like a blue clearish sandal with <laughs> like a little design in the bottom. And then it has like a opening in the back so you can just easily slip in and out. But I'm loving the sandals. I love that they're what they're doing with the designs on the Ken uh, shoes because not all of them are the same. I know for a lot of the tennies, they kind of don't do anything elaborate for them. But when they give them sandals, I love that they're doing something else. For them like they do with this one like these this one you could do or i would say like this could go for like a um like a barbie looks doll uh, or ken looks doll or like a you know 1959 doll i think this is like that quality of of sandal um but the fact that they did it on a fashionista doll i think that is amazing he does have his five points of articulation which are his neck his shoulders and he can sit and he can barely sit because of the shorts, but yeah, he can sit. And I am absolutely loving him. He is so handsome. His body, though, is a little thicker than... I'm actually going to show you without the shirt. 
His body is a little thicker than you would see a regular Ken, which I like and don't like. I love that it's thicker, but I don't like that they don't have any made to move thicker bodies because I had the other thicker guy that had like the man bun for my sister Minnie's bought him for me, uh, but there was no made to move body for, for them. So Mattel, get on it. Please get some thicker bodies uh, that are, are made to move for the cans, just like you did with the Barbies or curvy Barbies. And this is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these new Fashionista dolls and which one is your favorite. I honestly cannot choose because I love every single one of them. I love everything about them, but if I had to choose one, I'd go with... I'm just kidding. I love them all. To see more of my unboxing and review videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell to get a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.